Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NCAA Football 14 online game. Today we got the Gamecocks and the Gators, a rivalry game. Two of the top SEC teams heading into the season. I got the Gators today and um, I do have the Gamecocks playbook, but um, I just picked the Gators. Just, you know, switch the teams up here. And early on we forced a sack here, but on second down I was right there, but I just could not get the stop. And that ends up bringing up a third down short and he's able to convert on the drag route. So that was tough. I thought we had a nice little stop there to start off the game but um i just couldn't get the pick and look at this like what kind of throw was that to get the first down absolute dot like 20 yards downfield okay whatever and um next play he runs a screen pass and um you know, i'm just trying to figure out what he's doing on offense and just like a lot of people he's probably trying to figure out what he's doing on offense as well i mean early in this game he kind of scrapped for play just trying out a bunch of stuff and that's kind of what he was doing in a way and there fourth down and seven he decided to try up a little lob streak there, or just streak there, bullet streak, I don't even know. But it came down, he came down with it somehow. I thought we had that one, at least to swat it down, but I don't know. Sometimes in this game, the animations, you know, it's a 50-50 chance of getting animations. And that's why you should probably go for the swat. Though for me, I don't like swatting it because I'm not good at swatting, so I just go for the pick. And there, it burned me. So now I got the ball in offense that I can knock down right away. Bring up a second down and 20, and I almost throw a pick there. Now I'm third down and 20, almost impossible to convert, but I just throw it to the tight end, and I'm able to get the first down. And um, I got to try to answer his scoring drive. It's already in the second quarter here, so the clock's going down pretty fast early. And now I'm taking off, but the quarterback loses the ball. Uh, thankfully, this offensive lineman picks it up and actually gets a few extra yards and moves the chains there. And then the quarterback will get stopped like a yard short of the first down. So that actually wasn't that bad of a play for us since we were able to hang on. And now, I run this little option here, keeping it with the quarterback, getting a nice gain of nine. And then next play, I throw, the, I inadvertently throw the pitch and I should have just kept it with the quarterback. But I didn't expect the freaking defensive end to jump it for the interception there. I'm like, what? I wouldn't, I don't know if that happens often in this game. That's the first time I've ever seen in my life, but, um, yeah, you roll with the punches, I guess. I'm kind of confused on how it happened. You know, I'm not used to run the read option and triple option and all that, but, um, on his drive first, he dropped what could have been, like, a big-time game. This guy just straight-up dropped it. Then I straight-up dropped a pick that could have gave me back the ball in, the, like, the red zone area. And then all that kind of evened out to where third down, he decided to move the chains. And here's second down on 14, he moves it again, and... You no, know, first down we're doing pretty good. It's just that second down is when we're not doing so good. There, the cornerback just didn't react to the guy, so he was able to get the ball once again, move it downfield, trying to get a 14 nothing lead in this game. And there goes Shaw taking off, and Shaw after the tackle was able to get some extra yards and move the ball. And he's trying to get that 14-0 lead, and that's what he gets right there. Oh God, I mean, I don't know. I just got, I just gotta find something. You know, defense is really my strong suit at all in this game, but. We need to find a stop eventually, because that's where we're at right now. Since we're down 14 nothing, our defense has to do something. But first, the offense has to score points. We are we have nothing right now before halftime, so we got to at least score something going into halftime to make ourselves feel good. Maybe even tie the game if we're that good. And I'm looking for anybody. I just throw it deep there on the post route. Like I said, trying out plays. Throwing it to number four, who looks like he's pretty damn good. So I hit number four. Big time game. Next play run. Hurry up and catch him off guard with a little draw play there. And we're able to get in the end zone do the gator chomp there real quick and that's exactly what we needed and we barely did that with any time gone off the clock less than a minute i think so you know about like two minutes left now it's his chance to try to get some points and there he goes deep and he hits i think the tight end there in a big time streak play i played a cover two and it didn't work out that much i don't like playing cover two for that reason that the streaks up there in the middle are just too easy to convert on it though um next two plays later i think it is we end up getting the pick here he tried to force it in the corner but we had a lot of guys playing we had like two or three guys and one of them got the pick and look at shadavian clowny just taking everybody down while trying to run the fleet foot you're just blowing it up and and uh, um, we got a, quite a few of the yards back. We bring up third down and six. That's pretty manageable. And we're looking, we're looking, and I can't find a damn thing until Clowney decides to eat me up again. So Clowney gets me twice, bringing up a fourth down to 14. And I said, go for it, but I cannot get it, unfortunately. I don't know. I, I'm just like, screw it. With this NCAA, I'm like, screw it. I'll go for it. And look at this. I sound like a blitz. I left somebody wide open, but he couldn't react in time. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing random stuff right now it's not really working it's not really working all right I've, oh my god well, we could have gotten that that would have been great instead we drop our second user pick of the game and it goes for the field goal there but um i've lost like what two games in a row that have been pretty much heartbreakers so 
I don't know, man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta try to do something. It feels like it doesn't feel like I'm about to go on a three-game losing streak with the games I play. But that's what's about to happen. Down 17 to seven here. Two seconds left to throw something up, anything up before halftime. Any mir any miracles that can happen, any good fortune I can have will happen right now. But I didn't have it. Not enough for that. I threw the, like three people. I'm surprised none of them intercepted it. So at least I do get the ball coming out of halftime. So that's the one positive. I get the ball coming out of halftime to make it a one possession game. And there I I was either the tight end or the wide receiver. I didn't really trust the tight end even though he got open. It didn't really matter because the wide receiver got quite a good amount of yards there. Next play he sends this cornerback blitz and cornerback blitzes are pretty easy to read though. Unfortunately my guy drops it. Then third down I throw the comeback route and my guy drops it again. That's cool. Fourth down to ten, I said I'm gonna go for. It. I'm running the same exact play, except for this time it gets open, and the quarterback overthrows it. So that was a wonderful drive. Drop, drop, and miss pass there. That was open. And then here he just runs four verticals, and cover two is not gonna cover four verticals. So he gets a nice gain downfield, gets first down and goal. And next play here, he somehow gets that one through. Had a guy in the light blue, but. What are you going to do? That's just the way the game goes. And this is probably the backbreaker. As bad as, bad as uh, I've been playing, as bad breaks as I've been getting, all this stuff, that was just... I, I didn't even think I went offside. That was just messing around. And when I do go offside, apparently he misses the PAT. The one time somebody actually misses a PAT, my dumbass goes offside. So he gets a do-over, and obviously he gets the PAT that time, because you can't miss one of those twice. All right, It's not like I'm trying to block it. I'm just running around like an idiot. Then, um, yeah, I really made myself look like an idiot there. And now I'm down 17 points. And, yeah, I got to pull some miracles out of my ass. I got to do something. I've only scored seven points all game. So, if I got anything, any good fortune or any good plays, I got to pull them out now. Unfortunately, I really don't know much good plays. I'm still trying out plays at this point. And I'm just throwing comeback routes. I'm just audibling the comeback routes. I got that one there for a first down. Next play, I throw... This corner route, I'm just messing around with the corner routes because they're pretty good man beaters. And I get a nice gain there. Next play, I do a little quarterback draw. And the quarterback is just carrying people. Look at this guy. Getting almost the first down. Still can't be brought down until he finally is. Second down, I run the same as that quarterback draw because he wasn't bringing that much people. Though there, he brought a good like five people, but everybody picked up their blocks. And I got in the end zone and um. I don't know why I went for two. Like I said, I'm just messing around with this NCAA. This is actually from the early release still. This is still like an early release game. I don't even actually own the full version yet. I still got to go buy that whenever I get time to, you know, play this or whatever. So, um, yeah, I actually don't own the full version, if you're wondering. This is still early release gameplay. This is like... The fourth game I ever played in NCAA. And there he tries to go deep but cannot get it. Third down and 10. He's looking for anybody he has to take off. Throw it on the run and it's intercepted. And we're back in this game. Just like that. Snap it a finger. We're back in this game. When we get a touchdown, we're only down by, well, like six, four points. Four points we're only down by. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm pretty excited about the prospects of getting this touchdown. And that's exactly what we do. Just in a snap of a finger, we were like playing like crap. And now all of a sudden, we can only be up by or down by three. Though, unfortunately, we're not because my dude drops the ball. So that's just the way my game's been going. My guy's dropping the ball a lot. So. Why not drop the ball in a two-point conversion and cost us two points? Now we're down five. I don't know why I kept on going for them. Look at that guy number two. What are you doing, bro? React, please. React. That's all I need you to do. And now we send the pressure, and it brings up a second down and long. But he's been converting them all day, and that's what he does once again. I mean, we've been getting good first down plays, but second down, he's always getting us back. And um, that's just me. I can't play three consistent... Three consistent plays on offense, so it's kind of hard to get off the field when you can't do that. And um, there, we forced him on the run, but he was able to get that, so that kind of sucked. It looked like we had the perfect play call, but the quarterback was just able to outrun that guy. And I sent, like, what, six people, but it's whatever. And now this guy's chewing the clock. Look at the clock. Four quarter, four minutes and 20 seconds left out of nowhere. As he's been chewing the clock all drive. But if we hold him to a field goal, we're good. And he ends up running a draw play on third down. We're able to... Contain it if the middle linebacker doesn't dolphin dive on the ground and actually dives at the player. If we would have gotten to, um, home to a field goal there, it would have been a one possession game because it would have been, I think, 27 to 19. That's an eight point game. Instead, now we're down 19 to 31, and just when we had the momentum, all of a sudden we're down 12 points with under four minutes to go, and we got to pull something out of our ass. So here we go. What can I pull out of my ass right now? I'm running, hurry up, just. 
picking this one play. I found this one play that I really liked here. And I started getting in a groove with this play. So I'm like, okay, I'll just keep running the same play until he stops it. As you can see, the same running back at the backfield. There's a little corner out here. The tight end runs a corner out of his own. And then, of course, that angle route that the running back runs is pretty damn deadly. And there, I hit it. And you see not much clock gets burned because of this NCAA rule where, um, the clock stops immediately when you get a first down until you get to the line of scrimmage. So I'm taking advantage of that right now as much as I can. Here I hit the tight end and the tight end is able to get in the end zone. And we are back down by five after I actually go for the PAT for once. I mean, if I didn't go for the... If I went for two and didn't get it, it would have been pretty damn costly. And look at this. Speaking of costly, second down to nine. He runs backward and loses six yards, bringing up a third down at 15. And we need to get this stop quarterback on the run, throwing it. Deep, but he cannot get his guy and fourth down and 15 he's going for it he's going for it come on defense fourth down and 15 don't let me down now let's get off the field and that's what we do defense gets off the field offense comes out down by five and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown first down halfback drops it would only be like a two-yard gain anyway second down taking off with the quarterback he stiffs on stiff arm trying to break as much tackles as he can and it'll bring up a third down and one and he sends an all-out blitz but I find the running back and I'm able to get in the end zone with a minute 10 seconds left and that gives us the lead or a minute two seconds I should say and now we got to go for the two-point conversion here real quick to make it a field goal game we hit the tight end can we get in can we get in yes we can stiff arm a guy and we get in that should have just been an easy walking but for some reason the tight end decided to make it a little bit more dramatic and speaking of dramatic this guy's down three and gets popped and that could have been the game right there we could have recovered that instead it's second down 20 he still gets to keep the ball and he's going deep and he has a guy but he drops it his guy drops it he had a big time gain to about the 45 but he dropped it now third down and 20 coming up because of that and he goes deep and he gets it how did i not get that i was right there i went for the damn ball hawk whatever the fuck I don't know how I didn't get that, and now his drive is still alive. He still has a chance to at least get in the field goal range and send this game to overtime. He throws it to this guy, but we bounce him backward on the hit there immediately, and it's the second down three instead of a new set of downs. That means the clock is running, and that means he has to hit the tight end through the middle there at about the 30-yard line. He calls a timeout here, and he's like, all right, I'm going to go for my field goal right now, but I'm like, let me call a timeout real quick myself because it is icing the kicker thing they got in the NCAA. When you ice the kicker, it fucks with your range so hopefully we can mess with him enough to come out with this victory make a miss and here we go to extra whoa that was bad whoa that was bad we're getting this win because that kick was horrific wow that ice in the kicker stuff is something serious let me tell you something I didn't even I didn't even remember the ice in the kicker. The only reason why I remember that because I was watching one of Cold World Nine streams and someone iced him in a game and he missed the kick so badly. So I'm like, if it works that good, I'm gonna ice the kicker and see what's up. I've never done it before in my life, but after seeing the way Cole missed that one kick, I was like, all right, let me ice the kicker and it works. So I'm able to come out with the win somehow. Down 17 at some point, down 12, like four minutes in the fourth quarter. But um, we we're able to come out with the win, so I'm cool with that. So um. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe for more NCAA and all that. Maybe I'll actually buy the game and I'll catch you guys next time.